A Plants vs. Zombies game doesn't seem like the kind of game that you'd think an adult would enjoy playing, but surprisingly, it's actually really fun. Um, it's, it's still incredibly active, and of course, the bonus is that it's on the Game Pass. So if you have an Xbox and you got the Game Pass, you can play it for absolutely free. However, I did not play it on Game Pass. I picked it up on the Nintendo Switch last year, or the year before, whenever it was released. I picked it up day one, and I've been having a ton of fun with it. So much so that I thought I'd download it on the Game Pass to record footage to make a video just saying, yeah, because I, I noticed this on offer on the uh, Nintendo eShop. And no matter which console you pick this game up on, it's... It, it, it kicks a lot of ass. There's, you know, there's a, a good variety of multiplayer modes. There's a lot of different characters with different attacks that you can use on the, both the zombies and the plant side. There's a lot of in-game uh, cosmetics that you can unlock and you do not need to pay any extra money. Of course, you can. I mean, EA did publish this game after all. Uh, there's a, a huge single-player game, which, um, you know, encompasses having to do a load of X, Y, and Z things. I haven't really played through... The campaign i've played a bit of it but i just mainly stick to the multiplayer uh, that's kind of where the most fun i have with the game comes from but uh if if you want to seek out the single player and go and not you know knock yourself out go nuts but yeah um who'd have thought that that mobile game um plants vs zombies would turn into this really fun multiplayer shooter of course as you can see from the footage it's not first person it is third person however ton of fun and uh, all the different cool abilities that you can have and use with all the different, uh, in, uh, well, I don't know, were they heroes or characters? I don't know. One or the other. There are some that you can unlock and I think some that you do have to buy. Um, but there's there's challenges and all sorts. There's so much to keep you occupied. And I've had personally no bugs, no glitches, no crashes, no frame drops on, on the Switch version or the Xbox Series S version. Um, I... Th I well, to be honest, I think it's one. It's it's a really fun multiplayer game, and this day and age, I'm kind of I don't know semi-retired from the really competitive sweat fest that is a lot of online games at the moment. Like I can't be doing with uh, even Halo ranked these days, Warzone, well, any Call of Duties, Battlefields. I'm I don't know. I just I find it's it's now out of the realms of fun and now into the realms of super sweating them you know where everyone's trying to be the best to i don't know join an esports team i don't know but with this game it's just a lot of fun it's incredibly well balanced and it's just fun it doesn't matter whether you win or lose of course uh, the game is also very well supported there's currently an event going on for valentine's day and there's always different events obviously with halloween and easter and christmas and etc and etc um uh you can uh, there's like these different skill tree things so when you complete challenges you get these little gems and you use said gems to unlock cosmetics and uh badges and the, like the little tombstones that pop up when you die your, so you can see uh, so people can see your customized tombstone which does sound a bit morbid and grim but there you go um but yeah uh i i, I think it's well worth picking up if, if you just want something that's easy and um you know just a lot of fun to play you know, it's not a major sweat fest. Of course, you you can you can go in there and uh, annihilate because I, I get the feeling a lot of children play this game because some games I absolutely stomp and then other games, um, you know, I, I get stomped. So it's either one or the other, but I don't mind because at the end of the day, I'm playing this for fun. I'm not playing this to go pro. So, um, but that's my thoughts on uh, Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborhoodville. Um, please let me know in the comments if you've played it or if you were thinking about picking it up. And yeah, definitely if you're thinking, oh, is it worth it on the Switch? Absolutely. Of course, it doesn't look as um, HD as th this footage you're seeing here. This is recorded for my Xbox Series S. But the Switch version still does look really, really good, especially in handheld and on my OLED. It looks really colorful, bright, and it, it just play it, but it plays exactly the same. But thank you very much for watching, and I shall catch you on the next one.